Hi everyone, my name is Grace and I'm a librarian here at McAllen Public Library and today I'd like to welcome you to L2K Learn to Korean. Today I'm going to teach you this letter and this is the V and it makes the R L sound. It's a bit of a mixture. So for example, we have rabbit. R your tongue is in the back of your mouth. For lamb, your tongue is in the front of your mouth. In Korean, the dil is actually in the middle of your mouth and you want to keep your tongue soft. So, r, r, r. Cool? So, to help you remember this letter, check out the steam coming out of this delicious bowl of ramen or ramen in Korean. R, r. Now to write it, it's three steps. It looks like a very blocky two. Step one, you're gonna go left to right, top to bottom, which is one stroke. And then step two, left to right, right underneath it. And then right underneath that, you're gonna go top to bottom, left to right again in one stroke. So three strokes. Let's practice together. One. Two, three, one, 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 two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yay! When writing in Korean, you'll never go right to left or bottom to up. Okay, to the names. We have the highest charting female Korean act on the Billboard Hot 100. It is Blackpink and there's two ls in their name and it's gonna be four syllables so black pink which is which means four blocks b uh, l bl, and then l e k lek p i n pin k uh, k black Pink. And then in black pink, best dancer, Lisa. And in Korean, it's spelled Lisa. R I R I S A S A. Lisa. We have EXO's Chanyeol. Ch A N Chan. And then Iung Yo, which is this placeholder, and Yo. L. Yol. Chan Yol. And in Mamamoo, we have solar, but in Korean it's spelled Sol La. Is it S O L? Sol L A La. Sol La. And in Stray Kids, there is Lino. It's R I D. And then N O No. Si no. I grew up watching this girl band named Pinkle and one of them is still active singing today and her name is Hyori. H Yo Hyo R I Ri Hyo Ri. Side note, there is a show on Netflix called Hyori's Bed and Breakfast, which I highly, highly, highly recommend, especially first season where IU is the special guest. And for K-drama phrases, I picked one that's easy, very useful, and very fun to say, and it is hola, which means I don't know. So if someone goes, hey, what happened to your homework? Mula, which means like I don't know. M o l mol l a la 
몰라. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, follow, subscribe. And I will see you next time in L2K. Leave me any questions or comments below. Bye.